On this video we'll be talking about dog houses. Our first house will be Quark's. These are probably our best dog houses. We didn't build them. <laughs> uh, we got, they were given to us. Uh, all, all our females, well all my females have the good ones. So, what this is, it's just two by two construction. Um, built with chipboard. I would suggest using plywood unless your dogs chew dog houses. Then uh, I would use chipboard. I know dog houses could be pretty pricey and if you have to build one every year, well, then no point buying plywood. Um, when building dog houses, always make it so that it does have one side that could come off for cleaning purposes. And on these houses, the backs come off. What also works if you put pet, if the houses are standing up and not sitting on the ground, if you have a floor that can come off, then you can just take the floor and and uh, bang it around a little bit and put the floor back, back in. Um, so that is Quark's house. See, Platy has one, Lightning has one, and Avril out front has one. Now with Doug's house, this one hasn't got cleaned yet this summer, so it's a little dirty inside. But it's just all old straw. Um, this one doesn't have a part that can come off. It was uh, my first dog house I built and it's still standing, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, but you can see there's weather rot. That's from not painting. So I would suggest you guys building dog houses. If you're gonna want them to last, then better paint them. We also like to do nameplates for our dogs. Something uh, nice for uh, guests that come over. They can see the dog's name and so you don't always have to repeat which dog is which dog. <laughs> um, so yeah, Doug's usually has a door on his, but he pulls it off. He doesn't like having the door. Hero has a door on his. I'll zoom in. I'm too lazy to walk there. So he has a door. His his back can actually come off, and that's how we clean his. Um, you know, if you guys um, have dogs that chew their houses, we have a couple of them. They don't get any anything special we just go to the dump and lots of times construction people will leave uh, good pieces of plywood at the dump that's where you can find good stakeouts like this got it at the dump um, so yeah all these pieces here were from the dump and you know you cut them and make them work so we give those the we give those type of houses to the dogs that chew their houses. Also another type of house, which is just Spider's uh, temporary house, there are these blue ones, these blue bins. These are great. Water can't get in. Put some straw in there, he's good to go. Cut a hole here and I say cut half of it so that um, straw will stay in there. That's a good house. Uh, what you do is you put two by two on the bottom so so that uh, it doesn't roll over. Spider is one of our shyest dogs in the dog yard. We just picked him up a couple months ago. Um, but he's come a long way already. So that's our video on dog houses. Um, I, I say build all dog houses out of two by two construction. If you guys can get it, that blue foam, if you just put it on the bottom as an insulator, uh, that works great. So, yeah, you don't have to do all the walls or nothing, just the bottom. And, yeah, so 2x2 two two and plywood. One sheet of plywood and a, cup, uh, a couple 2x2s two can build you a house. Um, if you guys want plans, we have plans. Uh, just uh, leave a comment and... I'll draw up a plan for you guys and put it on another video. So for me and my dogs, I want to say thank you for clicking the video and uh, happy trails. Bye guys.